You could obviously make the argument that I'm marketing myself. Four days after a tongue-in-cheek comment about being booted off Facebook, that's exactly what happened to News Talk 1010 host Ryan Doyle. And I get this big pink box here that says, your account's been disabled. If you have any questions or concerns, you can visit our FAQ page. Do I feel like I've been targeted? Yeah, and you can't erase that feeling. It just feels like I've been centered out and somebody's trying to make an example of me. The 32-year-old believes it's a result of the on-air interview he conducted last Friday with Playboy model Anissa Holmes, who spoke about her ordeal in getting turf from the popular social networking site. Holmes got the boot on August 20th. Facebook stating these photos have been too explicit, but she feels she's been unfairly targeted. She never posted any nude images, and she showed us much racier photos on other people's pages. I lost contact with 12,000 people, and it's just... I mean, I can't even begin to tell you that, that I can't put a monetary value on what that did to me. But it doesn't matter that Facebook has 300 million members. This internet lawyer says as a private company, they're not bound by charter of rights and freedoms like government websites. I'm not sure there's any other purpose for Facebook other than for self-promotion. It looks like uh, Facebook is losing a little bit of face itself here. It seems the folks at Facebook have had a change of heart as a result of all this media attention. Shortly before the supper hour, Ryan received this email of apology from them, stating that his profile had been reinstated, but still no explanation as to why it was taken down in the first place. They're the anti-social media network. Are you kidding me? How do you have a social medium, the social medium in the world, with millions and millions of followers, and not have a behind-the-scenes team that can give you an explanation as to what's going on. Anissa just hopes the same will happen in her case. In the meantime, she's launched another page on Facebook. Mina Ree, Global News.